today we're talking about a feature on my new laptop that has the potential to become my favorite feature actually. No, I'm not talking about the 32 core GPU, I'm not even talking about the 64 gigs of RAM on this thing because while those things are great and it's crazy to have something with that much power, the reality is that most of my projects probably aren't even gonna need that much power. So I'm not gonna even see those specs, you know, fully flushed out every single day. But the one thing that I will face every single day is this right here, the SD card reader. Because every day I'm gonna take this card out of my camera I'm gonna transfer the files over and it's either gonna be my best friend or my nemesis. <laughs> so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna test that out and we're gonna see exactly what I'm in for by comparing it to what I was using before which is something that you guys are probably very familiar with, a little dongle, USB-C dongle. It's got your little HDMI, a couple USBs on there and then the SD card reader as well. Nothing special about this, just kind of the first thing that you would find on Amazon. So we're gonna put it head to head to see how the speed compares. Now for reference, the card that we're going to be using today is the one that I use with my FX3, which is a 128 gig V90 card, which has a read speed of 300 megabytes per second and a write speed of 250 megabytes per second. Keep that in mind because if you have a slower card, it might actually impact the speeds that you're experiencing. So we're going to start off by just using the dongle to transfer about 23 gigs of data. And this is actually all of the FX3 footage that we shot for that quick unboxing that's already on my channel. And it's moving along, but slow enough that I quickly decide, you know, I'm not about to stand here for 12 minutes, so I made my way to the couch. And I'll just give you the spoiler and let you know that it was a grand total of 11 minutes and 22 seconds to transfer 22.79 gigs of data. So, you know, 11 minutes isn't terrible. I could go make myself a bagel and have a good life, but let's see how the internal card reader does. And right out of the gate, you can see the difference here. I mean, I'm not about to go make a bagel. I'm not even going to take a potty break because really, what can you get done in about a minute, right? So grand total for this transfer was just 1 minute and 25 seconds to transfer 22.79 gigs. So I mean, in this example, we're saving, what, like 10 minutes, which doesn't seem like a big deal. But let's say that that 128 gig card was full, right? And I was trying to transfer the whole thing. We'd be looking at the difference between a little over seven minutes compared to a little over an hour. So, you know, it really starts to add up. So my boy Liam that you guys saw in the last video did a little bit of digging and he figured out the nerdy reason why there's a difference between that dongle that I was using and the internal card reader now. So on Apple's website, it says that it's a SDXC uh, card reader, which, you know, it doesn't really tell you the speed. But once he dug into it a little bit, he found out that this is actually UHS-2. Uh, which is compared to this one, which is UHS-1. So the difference is uh, up to 300 megabytes per second speed on this one and up to 100 megabytes per second on this one. So, I mean, there's no magic here. You know, like, if you don't have this computer, don't feel like you need to buy it for the SD card reader by any means. You can just search for a UHS-2 card reader and get a uh, similar performance between the two. But it's just nice to know that the card reader that they chose in this one uh, doesn't suck. We're not going to be <laughs> to put it simply so I'm happy let me know in the comments what I should test out next and as always thank you for watching